Welcome back Strength Labbers. Today's topic is antioxidants. Should we be consuming antioxidants via supplementation and what exactly is an antioxidant? Fair questions. What you do want to understand about antioxidants is that we make them naturally internally but we make a lot more of them internally when we're younger. That's when our body works at its peak. So less of a problem for the younger generation, more of a problem for the older generation, which I consider myself to be. I consider the older generation 40 plus. At that point, you better be paying attention to your health and you better know what you're doing. That will help you maintain it. So I'm 45 years old. I'm very attuned to what I should and should not be doing and I'm very disciplined to that, which is why I like to do these videos. This has been my career for the last 25 years as a full-time professional personal trainer. So let's sum this thing up here quickly as far as what is an antioxidant. It is a compound. Really, it's a behavior of that compound. It's gonna donate its electron to an unstable cell that could use an electron. And by doing that, you stabilize that cell. That's literally what it is. So a vitamin C could be an antioxidant. Beta carotene can be an antioxidant. Um, there's a lot of different things that can act as that compound, that donator of an electron. So that, but that's why it's called the behavior more so. It's the behavior of donating that unnecessary electron to a cell that could really require it. Now, if you don't get those free radicals under control, you end up with disease and illness. You end up with things that you don't want as far as ill health goes. That's why keeping the free radicals under control with antioxidants is so important and more so after 40. So what's the best way to do that? Is it supplementation? It's definitively no. If you take too much of an antioxidant, especially an isolated, antioxidants, say, such as beta carotene that you would find normally in carrots in a small amount, a healthy amount, the right amount, mixed with all the other chemicals that are in that carrot, including the fiber, then that's a better place to get it. But if you isolate that beta carotene and take large doses of it, you can do much harm to yourself, including causing cancer. The reason being is an antioxidant is only good in the right dose. Because remember, it has extra electrons. So if you take a bunch of an antioxidant, it's going to destabilize cells that weren't unstable to begin with. It becomes the free radical. So what you thought was good at a small dose becomes bad at a large dose. That is why you should never supplement with antioxidants. Don't waste your money on it. All right, what you should be doing to get this supplement, get the antioxidants you need, is eating this. There is nothing better for your health and there's no better place to get antioxidants than from vegetables and fruits. That's it. Save your money, take that money, run down to the store and buy yourself stuff like this. This is the magic. This is where the magic happens. This is where your body figures out what it needs to do and what it needs from the chemicals that are in this. There's no way that we can human engineer food that comes anywhere close to this. The broccoli, the spinach, the, the kale, the onions and the different colored peppers and the garbanzo beans and black beans and all the good stuff that come in something like this, this all natural thing. It's vegetables, fruits, and beans. That's the healthiest that you can eat. It's the best way to maintain weight. It's the best way to lose weight. I appreciate your time in uh, tuning in today, but it's a definitive no on supplementation with antioxidants. For that matter, it's a definitive no to supplement with much of anything, but that'll be another video. Remember, it is your responsibility to take care of your health, not just for you, but for those who depend on you as well. I look forward to the next video.